But yeah. Are you happy, Adam? Yep. Okay, right. We've wandered over to Toy Pin. Usually these are red machines, but they've come today in a lovely, like, turquoise colour, which I think is really nice. And I'm with James, who distributes these machines locally. James, I currently have the 1890 Pro platform basket. I'm looking to replace it almost like for like in the respect of my fixed chimneys, and I've discovered that that machine has been sort of almost perfect for me. What have Toy Pin got to offer that has similar features to the platform basket machine? So you're going to want a towable machine? It's going to be towable. Yeah. I currently can reach, I've got an outreach of roughly 12 meters. Yeah, okay. or the equivalent machine that I'm looking at now, we've just been to CMC, they do 12 meters, which I think is great. Towable, 12 meters. Ideally, I'd have liked it to have got through a gap 800 mil. We might be struggling with the Toy Pin there. 8.9. 8.9. So this is a new uh, track system. 24 GT, so it's a redesigned chassis yep. to allow the tracks to be bolted straight onto the chassis and they go up underneath, underneath the steering. So, this, this is this something you control off the control pad? Yeah, on here. So, this is automatic. Do you have to drop the outriggers to move this up? Uh, no, you can lift them up and down as it is where it's sat now. Wow, so it's pretty simple, just into red, anything red is tracking. Yep, so you can adjust them track heights just with these up and down anywhere you want them. It's quite a fancy feature, yeah. That's just your tracking like anything else really on the outside. Um, like I say, because it's a new system, the traps are now fully deployed. If they retracted all the way back in, yeah, that'll take that machine down to 0.89 wide. It's a perfect fit for gateways and things like that. Eight, nine, so roughly 900 mil, yeah, just shy. Yeah. yeah, what is interesting about this machine as well? I like the outrigger setup. I mean, that is you've, you've got quite a, a oh, yeah. good range, yeah, good leveling, good chassis leveling on toy pin. Always has been, always has been. I think they've, they've nailed it. You know, the, the, the different chassis, this outrigger. The configuration so you have your, your wide or narrow side to side so in its current i take it this is currently in its widest That's setting widest position, yeah. how wide is it currently is that it it's going to be around five meter mark I would so that's say, five yeah. meters and what can you get it to oh well, that'll be down to three maybe just under four just under four and this is the 24 uh, leo 24 gt yeah. what does this weigh so that weighs uh, three ton just under the three ton mark right okay so it's towable towable yeah. and it's actually quite a nice compact machine isn't yeah, it they're pretty streamlined the toy machines everything seems to uh, have its place and so if this is the 24 does that mean it can go 24 meters 24 straight? meter working height yeah 24 meter working height. and for me the imp uh, it's everything's about outreach so your outreach is uh, your max is 12.8 meters okay impressive uh, but your 10.2, uh, a 250 basket weight, 250 kilos. Right, right. 10 .2. Uh, if you are 200 kilos in the basket, that's 11.2. So same as our 23 GT. So you're not losing out on the 23 GT, the 24 GT. So same outreach, same weight. If you're 120 kilos, that'll take you to 12.2 meters. Yeah. And 100 kilos will take you out to 12.8. Right, 12.8 at 100 kilos. So that's me in the basket then. Well, just. Yeah. So, yeah, no, that's, that that's extra, pretty good. That extra little bit, you know, if you're 100 kilos, take that extra little bit, 12.8. So 12.2 to 12.8. I'm actually about 80 kilos, so that means that's me plus my hoover and my grinder, so I can grind out a yeah. chimney or, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, at that kind of length, yeah. which is quite useful. Let's take it's got a fly jib on it as well. It's got a fly jib on there as well. So this first boom, yeah. how high can that first boom oh, go? That is. Because this makes a big difference when trying to get over Driving the over. back. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Got you on here, so you're about 10 meters. Yeah, 10 meters. On Ten, so that, that would get me over the top of a ridge. Yeah, so for, 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 for pointing a chimney, it'll get me over the ridge and it'll get me back down to the other side at 12 meters. You could pretty much work on the back yeah, side yeah, of, a, yeah, of most houses, yeah, yeah, which is quite good. Yeah, and um, the basket all comes off, I take it, yeah, and it's all remote controlled. Yeah, all remote controlled. Um, if you ever get an interference with uh, radio signals, you can plug the machine into the hardwired machine as well also. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you're on the display, I'm just walking back in. So you have the same screen for the top and the bottom. Yes. So it's pretty easy. So that's in the tracking position. So it's giving you the level, your outrigger, it shows you all your feet when they're on the ground, the locks are in, what position they're in, wide and narrow, the tip is leveled. You have um, your level gauge there. You've got fuel gauge in there, live fuel gauge. Click into boom. So it shows you the boxes here. So anything in the top row is your up and outs. Anything in the bottom row is your ins and downs. Yes. So that, there, that is showing you where they lit up, the functions that are available to use. But it's the one, two, three, four, five boxes. 
Right, so it won't let you use plastic. everything at once. I, I, I suppose that's a safety feature. You can use it all at once, yeah. Just wait for it up on the screen. It's available to use at the time. Got you. Yeah. Um, I will, and I suppose this, uh, if I wanted to control this machine from the ground, I simply take that yeah. out. Yeah. Go and stand back. Yeah which is a useful feature, so you can see what you're doing, um, which is not something I can do currently with my machine. The, okay. the ground controls are right next to the slew, so right, you okay. can't control yeah, it yeah. from the ground, yeah. really. Yeah. I notice you've got a uh, 110 cable, so I, I assume we can plug in. Yeah, plug in from the bottom, extension lead, then it comes out, out to here, yeah. Do you have air and water as well? Uh, you can have that as an option. Yeah. It is an option on this model, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So go back to outriggers, you can have your wide narrow set in, yeah. front and back as well. You can have a church position they call it. Church position. So you can drive into a narrow gap, put the outrigger into narrow, in the narrow gap and leave the back end on wide. So you can work your 250 weight max weight yeah. around. Yeah. If you're in narrow one side and it's 100 kilos, you can work over the narrow side. You just won't let your telly out. Yeah. Go over 100 kilos so you can work over the narrow side as well. So bring that back into the 250 range and work fully again. So for my job, Let's say we are set up like this because we've got a job and it's on a road and we set up like this. Yeah. Ultimately, it means that if we didn't want to put the outriggers out into the road, we can narrow those ones that are going onto the road, yeah. work over this boom yeah. and still get the full function of the machine over the wide side. as long as we don't boom yeah. over the road. Yeah. But you can boom over the road if you wanted. Yeah. You just have to be tallied in and it'll drop your weight to 100 kilos. You can work around that narrow side, bring it back over the wide side to factory 250. Yeah. 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 I like that feature. It's nice. I think that's about it, isn't it?